So today, let's review 100 bottles worth of AK Generation 3 paints. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome back to the Studio Collectors. And boy, do I have something to show you guys today. Ah, oh, so heavy. There's a lot of pins right here. So guys, I got this set of 100 pins from my local hobby shop, M Workshop. And these are really awesome guys. They have been keeping the hobby alive for the past 19 years. And I'd like to thank them for giving us this opportunity to look into this box. So anyway guys, this is how this video is gonna be. We're going to talk about my first impressions of this box. Then after that, we're going to do some tests on the paints to see how they stand up for opacity, color retention, as well as to look at the finish of the paints. And lastly, I'll be sharing my final thoughts and whether you guys should invest in this 100 bottles of paint. Do note that for this review and every paint brand that I review, I will need some time to be familiar with the properties of the paint and these are only my initial thoughts. After all, I'm comparing these paints to paint brands which I'm already very familiar with such as Games Workshop and Vallejo Paints. As my familiarity and skills develop over time with the AK Gen 3 paints, I will be definitely producing a long-term review video for these AK Gen 3 paints. So let's jump on to the first segment and let's look at what's inside this huge 100 paint set of AK Gen 3 paints. Let's go. Oh boy, look at this, just diving into the box and just look at the amount of colors here. This is just nuts. I've not seen so many colors so well organized before. My work desk is pretty messy and this is a welcome change for me. Can't wait to get painting with them. Really awesome looking colors. So for my initial impression is this box set has most of the colors that I need to paint my miniatures. Obviously, no one really needs 100 paints to paint their miniatures. But for me, when I look at a paint set like this, I'm always looking for different shades of grey. Namely, warm greys and cool greys. To me, this is the most important part of any paint range because this gives me fixed steps where I can control the values and make the volume painting on my miniatures look a lot more coherent. So for the greys, the colours that stood out for me are these colours for the warm grey and these colours for the cool greys. For me, what I also liked about this box set is it comes with organising foam holes where I can place the colours in and keeps the paint organised. And another feature about this box set is of course it comes with a box and it has a handle and this is really useful for me as an instructor so that I can conduct classes out of the studio. As for the rest of the colours, my view is that these 100 bottles come with a pretty comprehensive coverage of reds, blues, greens and flesh which is fundamentally stuff that I really need. However, my only gripe is that the range of yellow in this box set isn't very comprehensive. However, you can always just swap it out for some mustard colours. There will definitely be a good replacement for different values of yellows in this set. So enough about just talking about the box and what paints are in there. Let's get these paints open and let's try them out right now. For this stage, I will be looking out for these three factors. Firstly, you'll be on coverage. How opaque the paints are. And secondly, I'm also looking out for the value and saturation retention on these paints. As we all know, acrylic paints dry less saturated and darker in comparison to when they were liquids. So we want to make sure that when the paints are dry, they retain most of their value and saturation. And lastly, we'll be looking at the finish of the model when these colors are applied. All right, let's dive straight into the test right now. Okay, so the first color I'm going to be trying out is AK Generation 3 Deep Red. And immediately, I was just blown away by the performance of the paint. Just look at this. This is just one coat and it's so opaque. In comparison to other brands like say Games Workshop base coat range, yeah, you get similar coverages. However, when the paint dries, you lose a lot of its saturation and you lose a lot of its value. It becomes very dull. These AK Gen 3 paints remain 
pretty vibrant and just look at this this is the third coat of deep red from ak gen 3 and to me this really stands out and paints so much potential in my mind do take note that this review is not even paid yeah i paid for my own paints and i'm just really blown away by the results so the next color we'll be using is deep blue over a black base coat and similarly as the deep red this really just stands out because just look at that insane opacity this came straight out of the bottle and it's slightly thinned down just with water and while you can see some brush marks because of this very slight translucency of the paint overall i've not seen a paint dry so vibrant and retain so much value and well still be just so opaque I, i'm just lots of words here just going on second layer and you can see that just with the second layer we have created just really blocked out colors already normally this would take me well three to four coats of very thin paint but this just honestly blew my mind so just going on with one more layer of deep blue and you can see <laughs> the third layer just really isn't necessary at all because at layer 2 the paint is already pretty opaque and has excellent coverage one thing i also like about the paint is that it's pretty easy to control it doesn't flow over the shop and yeah i like it i really love it just look at that white it's just insane man this is one coat it's smooth and it's not chalky like some other brands white you know what i'm talking about so there are other paint brands with white paint that is better suited as gap filler but this comes out really creamy and it's pretty opaque i'm honestly very impressed i can't wait to paint an entire model in ak gentry paints just the second layer of white here as you can see it's pretty opaque really you don't really need a third coat anymore so yeah we've tested it over black primer and up next we're gonna try it on a white primer which isn't really necessary but for shits and giggles let's just have a look at how ak gentry paints perform on a white primer i'm not even gonna talk about the rest of the white coats on here because just don't really need it so now on to the white primer i'm gonna be using neutral gray on this and apologies for the hand covering but just look at this just one coat and this looks pretty opaque really i thinned it down extra this time round so that we can see how the paints function and because the paints are so highly pigmented the opacity is really still shines through as you can see with the second coat of neutral gray the first coat didn't really lose a lot of value of course it didn't really lose a lot of saturation but just look at this i'm just really impressed and i want to see how ak paints stack up on each other so the next color I'm going to use is Deep Red and with Deep Red I'm just going to be base coating just to see whether the paints retain their vibrancy and spoiler alert AK Gentry didn't let me down just look at it all three factors achieved and don't really need a second coat here but I'm just putting on a second coat just see how much more value and vibrant I can create so in terms of the three factors yeah the finish is great the opacity is great and the uh, retention of color awesome really love this so in conclusion these are my general perspectives of the ak paints i want to share with you the pros of the ak paints firstly i'm very impressed by the opacity of the paints i've only tried out a few colors but boy i was blown away these are a few colors that i randomly picked up just to paint captain america and ultron and wow 
just two coats and the luminosity is really insane. The second pro I have for the AK paints is that the variation between the drying and when they are wet is not vast at all. So the paints retain a lot of its value as well as saturation even when the paints are dry. That's the other thing that I'm very impressed in my first impressions of the AK Gen 3 paints. Lastly, the finish of the surface is just amazing. Really matte and really smooth finishes for all the colors that I've used. But then, let's share some cons. First and foremost, the paints are a little bit pricey if you ask me, but I guess you get what you pay for. And secondly, the range is humongous. Imagine paying for such a high price for that many paints. So these are my first impressions of the AK Gen 3 paints. Thank you Workshop, for allowing us to review this copy of 100 AK Gen 3 paints. I hope this video gives you a deeper insight on the AK Gen 3 paints and if you found this useful, give us a like and subscribe because this keeps the lights on and keeps me producing videos like this. So if you want to support the channel directly, head on to the Patreon and get a whole slew of painting content which we have been producing for the past year. Want to see more of these unboxing videos? Let us know in the comments what else we should be unboxing and reviewing. And I hope to see you in the next miniature painting video. See you guys.